Jet Womack here from the prepperproject.com here with Engineer 775. Now, Scott, there's a lot of confusion, and we get asked a lot of this question. What is the difference between a CME and a solar flare? Can you explain that to people so they understand? Yeah, a solar flare and an EM and, and the CME kind of go to hand in hand. A solar flare is that first emission from the sun, and a CME will follow. It's slower, uh, more intense. It's this huge plasma wave of energy coming towards, it's basically perpendicularly emanating from the sun. So the solar flares will get here within minutes, the speed of light, to get from the sun to the earth, and then the CME will follow that. And depending on how earth directed it is, will determine the intensity and the effect upon the earth and the amount of geomag geomagnetic storms that will be created upon the earth. So is there any threat from that solar flare component, or does it come from the CME? There's always a threat from solar flares, especially uh, for um, airlines. Um, you know, that's when you start seeing the aurora borealis, the northern lights. Um, any um, ham radio operators are tuned into that. Anybody that's into radio, it'll disrupt communications and can cause, it can wreak havoc with navigation systems. So for most civilians, most people that are, you know, day-to-day -day life, it's not going to affect you. But for those that are using the ionosphere, using communication systems, uh, navigation systems, it can wreak havoc with those. If you're interested in how you can protect yourself from a CME or an EMP event, just click on the link below.